Hi there, this is a video for myself and anybody else who is confused about how to get the uh, audio from their DAW uh, Cubase, in my, in my case, into um, something like OBS or uh, Camtasia, which is what I'm recording on at the moment. Um, I was finding that it's fine getting the computer audio into Camtasia but it won't recognize the audio that's coming out of the DAW. No, I'm not massively technically brilliant at this sort of thing, so I'm going to be explaining it to myself uh, in fairly easy terms, just so that I can remember how to set this up again, and hopefully it might be useful to somebody else as well, to you if you're, if you're watching this. So the problem that, as I understand it, is that my um, audio from Cubase, from my DAW, isn't going through the computer it's coming out into um, a my audio interface which is a standalone box i've got a um, steinberg ur22 something like a focus right anything like that any any um, audio interface essentially won't connect up with um, obs or or with with camtasia they don't they don't talk to each other um, and the solution to this is to use a virtual mixer and um, a very, what, I, what I, I just found this out, I mean, I'm no expert, as I say, but it's, it, the thing to use is something called vo voice meter, and I've got this running at the moment here. Um, and essentially, you send, therefore, the uh, audio from your DAW into voice meter. Um, you can mix in a microphone, which is I'm, what I'm doing here, and then something like um, OBS or Camtasia will, will actually recognize the output from voice meter. Um, and well, it's working now, so it works. Um, okay, so voice meter uh, you find here. So it's vb audio.com forward slash voice meter. Just check the spelling, it's double M W -E E T E R. Um, download whatever you're using down here. I had no problems with this. It downloaded and installed just like any other piece of software. Very straightforward and simple. My only issue is I can't find it uh, on my menu list. I might just be being a bit stupid. So I've had to search for that, but I don't know. I couldn't find it very easily. Um, then uh, I've got this microphone. So I'm speaking going into the input on the uh, audio interface and it's showing up here. Um, to now I had to have a fiddle with this setting here which is basically the type of input I think if I tried that one there it sounds absolutely awful um, I, I think you need to be on either WDM or, or MME <clears throat> you'd have to look for whatever your input is or whatever your um, audio interface is called here one of those two should work this one is really crackly this one sounds fine um, to get Cubase playing through it, let me just play a bit of Cubase. For a minute. So that's playing here, you can see it. You have to change the, basically change the output of Cubase, which frightens me, it frightens the pants off me because <laughs> I'm worried it's not going to work again. But anyway, it's easy. So you need to go to Devices, Device Setup, and here where it says VST audio system, um, mine was on Yamaha Steinberg USB RCO, which is my, I am assuming is my, my output to the uh, audio interface. And uh, you should find that once you've installed voice meter, the voice meter is there. So just check, just just click on that, click OK. It takes a minute to think about it. Um, and then that works. So that does mean, therefore, this is finished thinking. I don't know what did I do then. I might have clicked something I shouldn't have done. It does mean that I can talk at the same time as actually do music. Now an issue that I had, which might change, um, was that there was a great deal of latency. In fact, I've still got that now. There's still a bit of delay on my voice. Uh, let's play something on the keyboard. Yeah. There's a bit of delay there. There's a lot of reverb on that, which isn't helping, but... Yeah, there's a bit of delay. Um, it was significantly worse until I went to here. So menu, invoice meter, system settings, options. Um... Now I changed that according to one video to 96. I might just try changing that back down because it was 44. 
but what big made the big difference was changing the buffer here um you just click on it and it does that scary thing you just click okay and then you get a thing like that um it was set by default to about 1024 i think and i think the the, the latency was worse at that it's currently seemed to work best for me at 576 i've still got it but it's usable um to the best of my knowledge at the moment that's the only thing to do about it is just to try some different settings in here and see what works i'm going to try setting that back down again though because i think it was by default at 44 then in your um recording software um you just need to change your audio input um it, mine comes up when i i can't do it now you can't see it but it's it comes up as uh, either computer audio and you have the choice of going to voice meter so obviously you need to click it to this voice meter being the input and don't do what i do which was leave to the computer audio on there which meant i got a horrible echo so you you only need one input so it's absolutely terrible uh, the other rather strange thing is that if I close voice meter down, I would I, I assumed it would play in the background or it would work in the background, but it doesn't. You have to have the thing up and running and and, it, and just reduce down like that out of the way if you need it. But it has to be actually physically, literally, you know, in the system tray here and up and running for it to work. Uh, and that's about it. So I'm going to um, switch this off in a minute once I finished recording. And what I must remember to do is to go back to devices here and change my device setup uh, here back to um, my Steinberg. That's taking a little bit of time to go again, isn't it? It obviously takes time to think. Okay, well, hopefully that's reminded me how to do this if I have to go back and do it. Um, and if you have been watching this and having some problems with yours as well and it's helped you, then that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I have a very rudimentary understanding of this, to be honest, and I think that's probably quite clear from this. This has been very, very basic. If you know more than I do or can offer any other helpful advice or I've got anything um, really drastically wrong, please leave a, um, a note in the comments. That would be much appreciated for for both me and anybody else who might watch this okay thanks awesome thanks for watching bye bye